first things first, have to burn out a wood pigeon. Make a cut through here. Always cut down the farm. Wood pigeons in season all year round. You're doing the farmer a favour by eating it. Nice shot, Mark. I think that leg might be just a little bit too shot up. Right, let's take the breast off. Down the breastbone like that. Pull it out. Nice and simple, like that. And through the joint, like that. And leave that leg out because it's too short up. Go down like this. So you're cutting along the breastbone? Yep, along the breastbone, following the bone around until you find the joint, cut it off. That can go in for stock. If you are going to make stock out of it, cut out the shot up bit because the blood, I'm afraid to say, doesn't really make very good stock. That can be used in your sauce. If you don't want to make your own stock, just use a stock cube and some boiling water. Chicken stock works well with wood pigeon. Right, just cut that little bit of a crop out there. You don't want that in there. Right, nice soft pot pan, skin so down, lay it away from you. Yeah. Like that. Like that. Turn it over, like that. Keeping the pan nice and hot. What we're going to do once this is ready and we want to put it into a lap, instead of putting it in a hot oven like we normally do, we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of pork. And that pork's going to cool the pan down and cool the pigeon down. Then if the pigeon relaxes, any of the juice that comes out of the pigeon is going to go back into our sauce. Always want to serve wood pigeon nice and pink. If you overcook it, it's going to go tough. If you ever had wood pigeon and you didn't like it, it's probably overcooked. If it tastes of kidney, it's overcooked. It should taste like sirloin steak, yeah? Alright. We'll pull that pan down. Baby roast potatoes. This is literally a potato with the skin left on, cut into tiny little cubes, blanch it for a little bit until they went sort of slightly soft, and we've roasted them in some olive oil, salt, a little bit of rosemary. We've got these lovely, crunchy little cubes of potato. These are just carrots, blanched until they go slightly soft, a bit of honey, roasted. That simple, yeah? Right, I'm just putting the potatoes in the middle of the plate. You don't have to use a ring like that for this if you don't want to. But it does help you get it all nice and neat. And your roast carrots. Okay, now we'll get the pigeon out. So how can you tell it's done? That is going to be perfect. Now if you've overcooked your pigeon, sorry, if you've undercooked your pigeon, it's still pink, don't start frying it again. Just split it in half the way I've been just about to show you. Put it back in the oven to relax. Okay? And then it will finish cooking nice and gently. So some people think, oh, it's too too pink. I'm going to start pan frying again. Just ruin it in like that. That is perfectly cooked. Okay. So put him on like that. Like that bit. Not like that. Same with this one over here. So you're cutting it in half. Okay. In half down the middle. That. And like that. And that. On top of that. And you've got this lovely pork reduction and some of the juice that's come out of the pigeon. Beautiful. Try that. If you get this one right, the writing's on the wall and the footprint's on the ceiling.